One frequent question I get on Power Query is how to map headers from different files. And for this, I prepared a small exercise. So let's start. If you see here, I have three files, company one, company two, and company three, and each one is giving me their sales numbers in this format. The problem I have is that the headers are different in each file. And no matter what I tell them, they keep on giving me different headers. So here, for example, we have first, then four Ys and total sales. If I open the second one, we have last, years and total. And then the third one is name, year and sales. So how do I deal with this? Basically, the only common thing in those files is that the data is into an Excel table so if I just go to table design, I can see that the name is DT table. And let's go back to our Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, we have a mapping table, which has all the headers and what I want to convert the headers to. So for example, first, last, and name, I want to convert them all to name. And this is also a table called mapping table. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a connection to this. So I'm just gonna click inside. I go to data. I'll get get and transform data. If you don't see this, it means that your Excel version is before 2016, but you have a free add-in called Power Query that you can add and you'll get this. So I'm gonna click on from table range. And here, I'm just gonna get the table. So from to, the source and then it has just changed types so it just captured that this is a text i am fine with this i'm just going to go to home close and load close and load to and here i'm just going to do only create connection so now i have a query to this mapping table it's a connection that i'm going to use afterwards the next thing we're going to do is try to import our data and combine it so if I go to data, get data from file, from folder, I can go to my Power Query folder and here I have my files. Now, weirdly enough, Power Query doesn't show me what I have in the folder. It is fine. I'm just going to click on open and I get all the files in this folder. So I'm just going to click on transform data and here I need to load the correct file so here i have an mkv file i don't want it so i'm just gonna do text filters begins with and then here i'm gonna do dot xls so here this file is gone and here if you noticed i have underscore sales for those files so what i'm gonna do is do text filters underscore sales and I'm left with my three files. I click here. I'm going to get this window where it will select a file for me. On this file, I'm going to apply the transformations. And based on those transformations, it will do the same for all the files and combine them. So here, the first file is company one underscore sales. I can choose any of the three. I'm just going to keep this. I can see here I have a table, DT table that I showed you before. This is the data. I'll say OK. Power Query tried to do the job for me. So this is the combined data set. The only problem I have, you see there are a lot of nulls. So company two and three, all the data is null. Why? Because my headers are different and it only took the headers of the first one. So what do we do in this case? I'm going to show you, but first let me show you the steps that we have here. So here we have our source files, then we filtered the MKV file, then we filtered the sales files. So what Power Query did, it removed the hidden files. Then it is using a custom function. We're gonna come back to this. The function is here actually, transform sample file. After that, it has renamed some columns, removed some columns, expanded the table, 
and then change the data type so it find out whether it's a text or not or a number etc so if i go back to this invoke custom function one which is here you can see that for each file it takes the source data and then basically it's doing nothing it's just creating this table this is where i have to add a step so for each file I'm going to map the headers with my mapping file. If you remember, we did a connection before and it's called mapping. And after mapping the headers, then it can combine. Now, before I do this, because this is the complicated step, let me show you part of the step in Excel to understand how it works, how the code works, and then we'll put back the code here. So I'm just going to do here close and load. So it's going to load this in another sheet. So you can see this is the data that I get and let's go back to map. So here I have hidden something. So I'm just going to select this, then do unhide. And you see there is a function called list.accumulate. This is what I'm going to explain and then we're going to use it in the Power Query code. So list.accumulate has three parameters. The first one is my mapping table. So here you have a mapping table. Why is it written table two records mapping? For the simple reason that this mapping table that I have here as a mapping connection is a table, but this function only takes a list. So two records makes it a list, as simple as that. The second one is kind of a default value. It's called seed. I have here underscore just to say like this is default and last it's a function that I'm going to use to map my headers. And this is what we're going to look at into more details. So how does list.accumulate works? Basically, it will go through every row that I have in my mapping sheet, which is this parameter, and then it will transform the data or it will perform this function. This function has two parameters, state, and current and if you see I'm using this state here and this current here you can name them whatever you want but I recommend to use this standard nomenclature so now if I just here write for you state then I have current from current to which is this one and then end state. Let's space them a little bit so you can see. And let's just make some borders and see how this will work. So basically, current from and current to is the table that I have, the mapping table. So current from is this column, current to is the other column. So the column name is inside. So let me copy this and paste it here. So this is what we have. State is what I begin with. So in this case, what's going to happen when we're going to combine this with another function is that if I go back to, for example, let's take company one. Okay, you have here, let's take total sales as one of the headers. Let's close it and let's put it here. It will start with one of the headers. So the headers one by one. So here I have total sales. I have if text.upper. So if total sales becomes total sales like this is equal current from. So is this equal to first? No. So I go to the else, I get the state. The state is actually total sales. So I'm gonna get this. Now here, the way list.accumulate works, it's going to go row by row. So now my state is actually this end state of the previous row. So I can just drag this here. And then if I compare total sales to four Ys, it's not equal. So I'm just going to get at the end total sales. Here I get total sales. Now it's equal. So this will transform it to sales. So here we get sales. And now if you see, I won't have sales in any of those. So basically for all of them, I'm just going to have sales and that will return 
sales. So for my header, I'm going to start with total sales and this function will tell me you have to convert it to sales. And I'm going to use this, this function with something else to change the header. So let's go back to our Power Query. Before I write it, just to let you know that in case you didn't understand this in detail, this is fine. You can just use the code that I'm going to type here and then it will work for you. So let's go to transform sample file. So to add a step, you click on this FX, you remove this, and here I'm going to use something called transform column names. Transform column names. You can see it here. As the name suggests, I'm going to transform every header to what this list.accumulate gives me. So we open the parentheses. You can see that it takes a table and then a name generator as a function. So the table I need to transform is actually the table that I have in my file, right? Which is this one, the one that has first, the four Y's, and then the sales, right? Don't worry about this error because we didn't finish writing. So the table is DT table. Then I do comma. So this function, this list function, has to run for every header, right? So to do it, I need to write each. So each will say, for each header, please run this function. And now to be able to see better, I'm just going to do shift enter. So if you see here, I did it again and I get this whole box so I can see what I'm writing. So here after each, I'm going to do this list dot accumulate. So this is exactly what I showed you on the Excel sheet. So list dot accumulate, we open the parentheses. First, we have our list. So the list is two records. See table two records. I open the parentheses and I select my mapping table. Then comma, I need this seed. So if you remember, it was this underscore comma. And then here I have my function. So my function had state comma current. And then we have equal, then bigger than. And here we have if text dot upper, because I'm converting everything to uppercase, because this is case sensitive. So I make sure that in my mapping table, everything is in uppercase, so it will catch them. And I'm going to show you this once I load the data again. So here I have state. If my state is equal to current, and then from, then we get current to, else we just get the state. And that's it. So I'm just going to let you copy this in case you need it. We say enter, and then you can see, like magic, I'll get name, year, and sales. Now let's go to our other query. So we did this invoke custom function. If you notice here, this change type is not working anymore because the names of the table headers have changed. So I can just remove it. I don't need it actually. And you can see that the data is coming now. So now we can just close and load and we get all our data. Now, if I have another file, so if I go here, I have number four. I'm just going to paste it here. If I just right click and do refresh, you can see that number four comes here automatically. Why? Because I already added the headers of number four in my table, in my mapping table. If you didn't do so, you can just add them and then it will work. And if you see all my headers here are in capital letter, although in the files they might not be. I'm doing this, I'm using the upper function just to make sure that I'm mapping the right way. And here I can do one more change, just a cosmetic change. So if I double click on my query, if I want to just separate those company names, I can just click on this one and do transform, extract, and then do text before delimiter. 
I'll put the underscore because you can see I don't want everything after underscore and then I get the company I can just do close and load and then you will get just the company name so please let me know in the comment section whether it has been difficult for you to understand this list.accumulate function in Power Query and whether it worked out. And if you have any questions, please ask me. And I would really appreciate if you like this video and you subscribe to the channel.